This is the greatest app you're gonna get for the iPhone 11 Pro and here's the best thing, it is for free. It's called Double Take. It's by Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro make an incredibly brilliant app when it comes to making videos on the iPhone. It's an amazing app, extremely high bit rates, all different kinds of options, full manual control, all that. But we're not talking about Filmic Pro, we're talking about Double Take by Filmic Pro, which basically you're going, what is it, Vic? Well, it was something that was promised ages ago at an Apple event when the iPhone 11 Pro launched and that allows you to use any of the two cameras at the same time. And this is what it looks like. So I've got the app up here. Uh, um, what am I looking at? Am I looking at uh, Anyway, okay. So I'm holding my phone. I've got an option to use the ultra wide, the wide, the telly, or the selfie. And here's the thing, right? We can use two cameras and record them at the same time. So I'm gonna select ultra wide and I'm gonna select selfie. Hi. And then of course we can change your frames per second, 24, 25, and 30. And then over here on the top right, this is where the real magic happens. This is, this is, in, in, ugh, this is so good. So hit this, we got picture in picture. Hit that again, we got split screen. Hit that, you got the screen. You're like, what's it doing? Let me show you. Let's click confirm anyway, first of all here to confirm the two cameras. And now it's going to do the discrete mode because that's what we've selected. I'm gonna press record. And what this is doing, it's recording the two cameras at the exact same time. The exact same time. And what it's gonna do then is it's gonna give us two separate video files of exactly what it's just recorded. How amazing is that? And then of course we can make this one bigger if we want to get a better view and all that kind of stuff. So then once we press stop, stop recording, let's go to the SD card icon here, hi Gary V. And then we can see exactly what we've recorded. You don't even have to sync these up because they're the exact same length, the exact same audio, and you can just match them by eye. Insanely good. Now the next option, right? The next option, let's go select some other cameras. Simply be selecting the camera option. I'm gonna to go to wide and I'm gonna go with selfie. And I'm gonna go confirm. Now, what we're gonna do is go picture in picture. So what this is gonna record is one video, picture in picture, which is all very good, it's fine. I probably wouldn't use it myself, but some of you might have a need for it. And of course, you can move this around if you want. You can make it bigger, so it's kind of on the fly editing. You can make it a little bit smaller and awesome, right? So let's pause that or stop it. Now let's go back to the app here and let's select another two different cameras. I'm gonna go with the ultra wide and I'm gonna go with the telly. I'm gonna select confirm. See how easy is this? It's a really simple app to use. Is it kind of weird that I'm like looking over my phone? Hello, you out there? So the last one here, one of the last ones is split screen. Now, depending on what you wanna do, this could be really, really useful. Actually, I'm gonna put me in a selfie here just to change this around a little bit. And I'm gonna go with the ultra wide and confirm. And we're on split screen. So now, maybe if you were doing a tour, maybe if you were doing a kind of an interview scenario, this would work really, really well. Obviously, you have to be careful with your framing and all that kind of thing, but no, it's a split screen. It's recording the two of these at the exact same. Ah, it's so good. It's 30 options. It's, it's, my mind is blown. So like from a filmmaker perspective, this opens up so many different options. Look at all of these good options and modes and split screen. And I mean, for me, it's the discrete is really my absolute favorite it, it, it really is that you get two separate video clips that are rendered out um and your b cam and your a cam and of course the a cam is always going to be a big one and the, oh man it's, it's just like it's so good now on on the setting side of things there's not a lot there you can kind of you know look for exposure and focus and metering simply by just tapping on the option the screen where you want to kind of keep an eye on so my ear tap it again to lock it and you can do the exact same on the other cam, the B cam, so let's tap here, make it yellow, and then once we go back, happy days, it works just like it should. There is one downside, and it's not really a downside, and that is it only captures in 1080p. I have no idea why that is, by the way. I, if I hazarded a guess, Filmic Pro is a paid app on the iPhone. I would think if they can, then you will have 4K on the paid app. I think there's version seven coming out and this is going to integrate, the double take is going to integrate a lot more into that. So maybe it's going to be an option that I would happily pay it. I'm a paid app user for Filmic Pro anyway. So great, but even 1080p, it is so cool. I mean, this, this really, 
will, as a filmmaker, get your imagination going and set interviews. Maybe you're doing a, a kind of a studio tour, an office tour, a home tour. You're walking down the street, you're getting reaction. You know, even if you're in the, the, the kind of the news slash broadcaster sense, you can film exactly what's going on and your reaction as it's happening, sports games, basically for anybody and it is so simple to use it's only obviously for the iphone 11 pro because it's got the three cameras in the front and of course it's got the rear camera as well for the selfie so the options that you can do with this are crazy good i can't wait to see if they can pull 4k into it but i want to try this out in a gimbal and see what we can actually do with it but other than that filmic pro my hat if i had one is tipped over there there is other videos for you to watch provided yeah more videos if you watch i think that you will like by the way see you in the next episode of the vlog until then don't stop fighting for yourself yeah you got those peter mckinnon sound effects now now